I don't actually know. <laughs> just in general, your stuff is so amazing. You just want to just. Well, <laughs> I think. Uh, I mean, I know. I know this stuff was in it. Like uh, this. This final sequence stuff. I know this stuff was yeah, in yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. But I don't know if like because Josh, our anime soup, is the one who like puts together. Um, the candidates' animations. Mm. Um, so okay. he's put together something for me, and I didn't even—I don't even know like what was in it. But I'm gonna guess it was just like a bunch of my shots, including this one. Mm -hmm. uh, but short answer is no. I don't know what specifically. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, yeah. So I'll, I'll just uh, play this first uh, before I start talking about it. You could wear the mask. You could wear the mask. You didn't know that before. If you do now. This is my story. So, I have other shots in the movie, but I think this is the one that I was in. I've received a lot of uh, the, the most uh, praise for it, so I'm just playing this one. Up. I also have the most fun doing this one. So. I see uh, all the elements from the Ninja Turtle shot in this shot as well, <laughs> like the camera, the uh, you know the the beats and the energy, yeah, grinding as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, really cool. Good shot, mate. Thanks, dude. Um, I guess, I don't know where to start with this. Um, first of all, I'm really thankful that I got to work on this. I don't know how that happened, but I got like a, you know, a final swing shot on a Spider-Man movie. It was pretty amazing. Um, they were saving it for you, I think. <laughs> you know, I'm just happy and thankful that you got it. Um, but yeah, I guess I'll start off with what they wanted to see in the shot, uh, the directors. So I remember um, Bob, one of the directors, Bob, when we were getting a kickoff to this whole sequence, when we got to these shots, he basically described Miles as being, this is when he's in the most in his element. Like mm -hmm. he's, you know, um, he's, this is the end of the movie, so he's basically like at the end of his arc and he's conquered all these things um, emotionally. Spoiler. And um, I think they were saying that this is Miles and his like truest like element, and he, they wanted to show him being different in the way he like swings and does acrobatics compared to uh, Spider Man, like Peter Parker Spider Man. Mm -hmm. And the reasoning for that is because he's just like a, a teenager. I forget how old he is. He's like 14, right? Something like yeah, that. I think he's yeah around that age. Yeah, pretty. but he's, he's, really, he's a really young teenager. Yeah, and yeah. he wanted his uh, exuberance, his youthfulness, and his playfulness to come out um, in the way that you know, he's animated. Um, as if like a real fourteen-year-old had these powers. Um, so he, throughout the show, he ended up being like a more showy type of Spider-Man. You know, mm -hmm. he has these powers and abilities, and he'll show them off because he's just like he's having fun with it, you know. Um, and also, one of the things that uh, Bob wanted for Miles in his movement. Uh, was like some skater sensibilities. Mm. Uh, I think because Bob used to be, uh, I don't know if he still does or not. I know he like broke his femur at one point skateboarding, but he used to skateboard. Yeah, right. Um, but he wanted to incorporate some of those skater sensibilities into Miles' movement and stuff. Mm. And so, you know, that's where this grind comes from. Um, well, first I should say that, like, when I was looking at reference for this shot, I 
started looking at like skateboarders and stuff like that. And then I very quickly realized that Miles doesn't have a skateboard. So it's kind of hard to reference some of that stuff. All so right. I was thinking, so what's the next thing that like, has a similar feel to it, but it's not, uh, not the same as skateboarding? Um, so brought up a bunch of reference pictures that I had. So before I started animating, I started looking up inline skating or like rollerblading. Um, and I found you know, a couple of pictures people doing tricks. Oh, this isn't scary, it's just a park um, But yeah, people doing grinds, cool like, tricks and stuff here. Oh yeah, that's awesome. Um, you see specifically this picture. I yeah. Got these. I have uh, I have Miles doing that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He's some sort of deal. Um, but yeah, I basically just gathered up a bunch of like pictures and references of like inline skating because I felt like that was the next, the closest thing to skateboarding without having a skateboard. Yeah. Um, so I basically just tried to get a feel for that and incorporate some of that stuff into his animation, which is where this comes from, and then the sliding. Uh, the grinding. This was uh, this step that he does was actually something that Bob specifically requested. It's called a cross step. Mm -hmm. and that's what people do on long boards. So they'll do like this like little cross step trick. Mm -hmm. right. So so yeah, and uh, you know poses like like this for example. I tried to make it different from like, regular Spider-Man and like he's, uh, you can't really see it, but he's like shooting a web underneath his, underneath his foot. I thought that was a pretty fun yeah, idea. Yeah, great pose. Um, yeah, so it's just like taking in all this inspiration <laughs> and information and like the directors are giving you on how he should be. Um, and, you know, thinking about it, uh, I did, like I was saying before, like I told you guys, I was like, I spent a lot of time just daydreaming and just trying to visualize the shot. Um, so like for this shot in particular, I remember literally just sitting at my desk the entire day. And, like I didn't set a single keyframe. I just sat and thought for like the entire day, drew some thumbnails thought some more and um, you know some people would say that that's a, a waste of time for them but to me that's like that's such a vital and like integral part of like the animation because like there's a, a lot of mental processing and thinking going on and all that thinking that you're doing that, that i was doing like before i actually got into the shot you know, one way or another, you're going to have to do that thinking at some point. Yeah. Like, it's either before you animate, like when you're playing a shot, or when you get into your shot, when you start animating, you're going to have to figure it out. So what I do is I try to figure out as much as I can before I actually get into the shot. That way, um, when I start animating the shot, it goes as smoothly as I can make it go. Um, yeah, you're trying to visualize it by embodying it, I guess, almost by yeah breaking yeah. it down in your mind. Which is yeah, pretty and it's not just because you're not setting keyframes, you know, in Maya doesn't mean that it's a waste of time. Because, so that's the production. <laughs> yeah, I mean, technically, you're not getting things done, but like in the long run. Like, you know, it's, it's, yeah, I feel, yeah. <laughs> it's all the same process. Just because you're not actually working and doing stuff doesn't mean that you're not getting things done by sitting there and like figuring things out. Um, yeah, so a lot of the stuff that I described in the, the TMNT animation, I did the same things here. So I don't, 
I don't have a play blast here, but this this shot also started off with just a sphere. And uh, did you have layout or did you create it? That's a question from Fonz. Um, sorry, boys. So, yes. so I, I basically had to redo a lot of the camera myself because um, yeah. I don't want to, you know, knock on layout or anything, but you know what they had just wasn't usable for this. Yeah, it wasn't dynamic enough. Just maybe because it wasn't dynamic enough, and when you have an an action with a character moving this crazy distance, you know, he's basically like going across the entire. City. He's going across city blocks and stuff. Yeah. Um, you're, you know, when I got the camera, I was like, oh, this isn't, this can't work because it's not accurate. It's not correctly showing how far you should be going. Um, and, you know, it was also, I, I guess at the layout stage, it was also made kind of, it was kind of vague what he was doing. Um, so a lot of the specific actions of the cameras and stuff I had to do myself. Um, Again, it's not a, a knock on the app. And we also, like, they had a ton of stuff to do and not a lot of time to do it. So that's, I totally understand. Did you um, use your camera setup where you would kind of have the pivot on the character? So. And lock it in? This, for this, I think I remember. At certain points, the character was parented to the camera. So, for example, a lot of it, a lot of it is just uh, a regular camera and a regular character. Like this, for example, there's no parenting or anything going on. Uh, but once it gets to here, specifically, he is parented. Miles is parented to the camera, just so I can get that smooth. You see how he's doing like a sort of like an arc going on, mm -hmm. just so I can get that smooth movement. I had Miles parented to the camera, yeah, and then I think it turns off again. He's unparented at this point. Yeah. 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 Are you um, parenting his master? Um. Say that. Question. <laughs> Hey. I think it was his I think it was just his main cog. If I remember correctly. Yeah. And then you just use the cog um offset for like all the other stuff he's doing on the camera. Yes. <laughs> I don't remember because this was so long ago and I don't have the files. <laughs> Uh, but we did, like, for these rigs, we do have, like, lots of offsets. So it was, like, it was, it was kind of easy to, like, you know, use whichever control you need for, like, parenting and stuff like this. Um, yeah. Does that answer your question? <laughs> yeah, totally. Okay. And I noticed you kept a lot of, like, even though you're finding a lot of reference, um, like inline skaters, um, you're still keeping the Spider-Man elements in there. Mm -hmm. So you're still like keeping, you know, the iconic pose like that one, for example. Um, yeah. which is important. So you're kind of combining. Yeah, I think the, for, for this shot, you still have some like cool, like fun inline skating. Like this in particular, he does this spin. That was um, a clip that I had found on YouTube of like an in inline skating on a half pipe and like a cool. Like, oh, yeah, yeah. Like, I see it now. <laughs> um, but when I got to this part, I was like, I didn't know what kind of pose I could hit. I felt like a like a skater. Uh, I felt like that I had used the ones that have the most impact already. I didn't want to just like reuse them. And I felt like this is, you know, this is the end of a Spider-Man movie. So let me just hit that iconic Spider-Man 
pose. Mm-hmm. Um, let's see how it goes. Uh, hey. uh, they were fortunately okay with it. <laughs> but I think even though it's, you know, it goes against what they were asking for, but I think it fit the moment. So, yeah. And also it looks cool. Like, if it's cool enough, you can show it and they'll be like, all right, that's... Yeah. yeah. Look at that. Did you uh, look up um, Spider-Man it's reference at all? Like, oh, comedy I phrases? That was... Man, I... Working on these shots, like, is one of, like, uh, three shots. I, I forget, like, how long it was, but, man, I was looking at Spider-Man clips every single day. Oh, um, yeah. Every day, I'd be looking at, like, Spider-Man singing and uh, trying to, you know, absorb, like, the, the physics of it and just, like, yeah. the different types of, like, ways you can swing. And, you know, because we were at Sony Imageworks, we have access to all the older Spider-Man movies, like the animations, the playlists and stuff. So I was also just going through our own servers and looking at, like, old animations from, like, Amazing Spider-Man 1 to like even like the Tobey Maguire movies. Um, oh, yeah. You could you could go to Imageworks and look up playlists of like the old Tobey Maguire Spider-Man movies and I was like blown away. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, number two was awesome with uh, Doc Ock. Yeah. 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 That one was great. Um. Yeah, so I, yeah, to answer your question, yes, I was looking at Spider Man. <laughs> um, Frankie had a question. She says it's a weird question. Is it common in production to move the master or keep it there, move the feet, hands? Oh, okay, I think that I think that depends on the, the shot as well, Frankie. Um, yeah. Yeah, it. I think for, I mean, uh, generally, if you're working on a, a normal shot that has like a camera that's in place and like you know, maybe it's rotating but it's not going crazy or anything, then you know you want to keep your master in place. You don't want to move it. It's generally used for just you know global movement of the character. But um, in our case, like in Spider Verse, with crazy cameras and stuff going on. A lot of times we did have to have the master moving, um, like parented to the camera, just so we can more easily have the camera, uh, have the character stay in the camera. And we sort of treated it, when we parented like the master to the camera, we treated it like a, you know, like it's a 2D animation. Um, and what I mean by that is like, uh, it's like it's like treating the character like a drawing on every frame. You're just like moving the character frame by frame, frame by frame, and it's easier to do that when the when the master is connected to the camera. So it's like every time you move the camera, anything happens. Like the character is just there, not stuck in place, and all you need to do is just like move them around, like. Drawing. I had a better explanation for this at some point, uh, so I'm sorry it's not coming out right. Um, oh, it was also for like we also use it specifically for animating characters on twos. I think I think that's why we did it. It's because um, when you have a character on twos, if the camera is moving and the camera and the character is on twos, then you get a lot of stutter. Because one frame, like a character moves, and then the next frame, the character is not moving, but then the camera is still moving. So you get like a stutter going on. And, that, and when you parent the master to the camera, you can, every time the character moves and holds, even though the car- camera is moving, the character will stay in place. And that's why we did that. Um, uh, on a feature that doesn't use like twos and stuff like that, I wouldn't recommend you pair the master to the camera. It's not like a matter of practice or anything. So, yeah, so cool. 
Oh, yeah, thanks for that. And Frankie also asks if um, just your approach to acting shots is it the same as action shots? Um, yeah, much uh, performance dialogue. Sort of stuff. Yeah, like, the most years are parenting usually when it comes to like acting shots for me. It's just the uh, same as uh, anybody else's method, I would say, which is just. Uh, you know, shooting reference for the acting. Um, I tend to spend a lot of time shooting reference and getting it right because, again, like planning for me is like so important. If you want to save yourself work later down the line, you have to spend more time in the planning phase. So, mm -hmm. you reference over and over. And, um, yeah, and the way I shoot reference, I will shoot reference, I'll take a look at it. And I'll look at my reference as if it's an animation. And I'll be like, oh, this part could move more. Like my, my arm could move more in that section. I could emphasize this certain part more. And I'll critique my own reference like if it's an animation. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll shoot again with those things in mind and try to move accordingly, like how, like, according to like what I was critiquing in my previous version of reference. So if you keep iterating like that, and eventually you get like a, a very uh, animator-friendly acting reference. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, cheers. I wanted to ask about our round one fight. Um, sure. I assume everyone's seen it, but how did you, um, did you plan out like where you led the viewer's eyes um, 